So new more news for the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, more trade rumors that aren't involving D'Angelo Russell. Uh, what, what's your tweet about something about LeBron getting traded? I, we kind of hinted at it a while ago, but we were kind of we were joking. We thought it was kind of not a possibility, but now it's looking a little true. Yeah. So uh, this is according to David Pingalore on Twitter slash X. And David Pingalore, just for some context, uh, he is the same guy who predicted, who correctly predicted Kawhi going to the Clippers, LeBron going back to Cleveland. So he has a bunch of feathers in his cap as far as being inside, knowing what it, the sources are saying and being really in tune with it. So he says, hearing from NBA peeps, LeBron James is at the top of the Lakers list to trade. Palinka is looking for the right team to dance with and is close to a suitor. Both LeBron James and AD sat out tonight. And this was yesterday, February 1st, around uh, 2 p.m. Well, I mean, crazy, first off. Uh, I He has always had enough power to veto any trade, any trade rumor even, even thinking about trading him. Um so now that he's older, he's he's still playing really good basketball. And the Lakers are now moved in. They're in the ninth spot um, in the conference. Do you think it's, uh, hey, we can't win this year, so maybe we just look to the future? Or, like, do you really blow up your whole team and culture like that? Yes. Your team and culture is around a 39-year-old. Yes, it's LeBron James, arguably the most powerful player in the entire NBA. But who can you pair with both LeBron James and Anthony Davis that makes this team championship caliber? Those pieces are not out there this season. LeBron is a free agent this offseason, and we have not even begun to start speculating is he going to stay with the Lakers? Who's going to uh, vie for LeBron when this is like pure like ESPN content? You know what I mean? This is something that they would be chomping at the bit for. So why why are they not doing LeBron watch? Why are they not doing all these different things? Like, So it does make sense that a trade would be pending. I mean, it seems like this guy has very reliable sources for things even in the past. So I'm not going to scoff at it. I think this is a very real possibility for Rob Polinka and the Lakers to be like, what can we get for LeBron right now so that we can continue to build around Anthony Davis? Well, they already know that this is going to be the guy moving forward. So why not put some pieces around him now in order to not just win this year, but win over the next three years? Yeah. And there's like some friction going around in the building round too with Darvin Ham. Uh, seems like all the players are unhappy with him, but it also feels like the front office is getting a little frustrated where like LeBron is always doing this, like trying to flip players and trying to flip coaches by pushing what he would want to do. And I wonder if that's wore them down at all because Anthony Davis is the future of the team. Like it's locked in, like there's no ch like changing course. It has to be Anthony Davis and they don't have draft capital. They don't have a, a great crop of young players. I mean, Austin Reeves went for 30 the other night, but he's been a little lackluster this season. Uh, like, So how do you turn things around? How do you get back on the right track? If you take the emotion out of it, you take the name and the accolades, you have an aging star, you have an aging superstar who can compete on other teams that are looking to win titles. If it was, If he didn't have the name and all the everything attached to him, you'd be looking to flip him. So I think it's interesting because if I'm LeBron, I could go to a team right now and win a championship maybe. You're not mm -hmm. going to do it with this Lakers team. Yeah, and I mean, so just to kind of add to this, Rich Paul has already come out and said that the Lakers will not be trading LeBron, that they have not requested a trade. If I'm the Lakers, like, do you risk pissing LeBron and Rich Paul who it seems like every other guy is a clutch sports guy, do you risk like almost burning that bridge by trading LeBron and cashing your chips and building around Anthony Davis? Like, do you just kind of say, fuck it? Like, hey, we have nothing against LeBron. We still need to make this move because it's best for the Lakers as an organization. 
I mean, but let's be real though. Like now that LeBron is aging and he's almost retired, how much of that pool does Rich Paul have? Like before it was, okay, we can't, we have to do whatever Rich Paul says because LeBron is the league and LeBron controls all these other players with Rich Paul. Is he starting to lose the grip on that? Are people getting tired of that control that he has on the league or is it still Rich Paul? I think it's still Rich Paul. If you look around the league, look how many clutch sports athletes there really are. And a lot of the big name ones are. And so it's like, realistically, how much can we burn this guy if we still need him to negotiate, you know, players, even six of them on our roster? You know what I mean? That's a lot for an NBA team. So I just don't know if you can actually burn that bridge or like really hold him accountable or make him see what you want to see because it's for the better of Anthony Davis. Yeah, and I mean LeBron does have no no trade clause, and I I would think he doesn't want to get moved right now for un for off the court things like his son plays for USC right now he's in LA, um, obviously his market is huge in LA he can do whatever he wants with businesses, like if he were to go to a Oklahoma City, a Minnesota or something like a contender right now in the West. Would you would you really want to go to a market like that right now and be away from his family and be away from his businesses for a half a year or possibly going into next year? Probably not. I don't like think realistically, yeah. the, I think the only one that where it kind of stands a chance is if you convince him OKC is the right move for him and whichever pieces you pick that are going to come to the Lakers, like don't fit in with LeBron. Hey, like actually you wouldn't fit on as far as spacing with blah, blah, blah. Or you send him in the Knicks. I think that's the, those are the two options there because you're not going to send him in the Warriors. I don't think that that works as far as the Warriors and LeBron. Like, yeah, he likes Steph, but I don't think that that combo is going to win the championship this year. And then I don't think he works with the T Wolves at all because. I just don't see him and Ant getting along or them sharing the same space on the court. The Knicks thing is really interesting. I was thinking Thunder all the way because they have so many pieces. I mean, they could give up five, six first round picks and not flinch. Mm -hmm. uh, and they have to at some point because they have so many young players on that team. You can't keep all the draft picks that go uh, that you're going to take. So I was thinking Thunder, they definitely would compete for a title this year if they have LeBron on there. Uh, even if they gave up a couple players and picks and then the Knicks though, like who would they really give up? I mean, you have to give up Randall. Julius Randall, Julius Randall back to uh, the Lakers. And I just don't know if they want to risk like ruining their young, like it's not a young core, but like a younger core than LeBron. I think you do it. I mean, New York. Yeah. They've been waiting all this time, but if you get a championship and then if you're LeBron and you bring a championship to New York, you like, you kind of, start to cement your legacy on that east coast you like understand like how important basketball is you become a knicks legend i think he he would go for it and you can carry all your businesses over from california to new york yeah the thing is like this only this play only works in like trading lebron if you convince him you could go win a title here this year but does he care enough about winning a title this year that's the question too yeah, they I mean, really not, we can see he's tired of losing. Team. Like, we could see it visibly. He's tired of losing. He's already, like, tweeting the fucking hourglass at, like, 12 o'clock at night, like, just waiting for something to happen. I think that it does take a toll on him. And as, the, you know, a continued legacy of greatness, he doesn't want to be pittered out with a bunch of losing seasons. He wants to compete for championships. And so I think that's the pitch. I think, hey – not only are we like helping you out and pushing you to create a legacy and be a hero at wherever you go, the Thunder or the Knicks. I think the Knicks has more, you know, vibrato to it. But also we're helping out your boy, Anthony Davis, and giving him a stacked culture to move forward with. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. I don't think he's going to get moved, but it'd be a crazy day in basketball and all of sports if he got traded. No. 